Hello, everybody. My name is Graham Elwood, and you are watching The Political Vigilante. Well, this new CARES Act, new stimulus plan, whatever, just got signed $900 billion, right? And who's voted for it? Because there's a bunch of stuff in there for defense contractors. We've talked about it, done several videos on this. It's $300. There's $51 billion for rent relief. Okay, that's nice, but it's not just pay. It should just wipe... Anyone who's behind on rent because they couldn't pay the rent because of the shutdown, you just, boom, your rent's paid. It's done. That gives money to the landlords, the banks, the four, you know, the, all, everybody, everybody gets made right. Nobody gets evicted. The landlords aren't screwed. Everybody's taken care of. No, we can't do that. And AOC is out there saying all this bullshit. Like all these Democrats in Congress, this is a democratically controlled Congress. Now they lost a bunch of seats because the Democrat, all this, all the Democrats who lost, seats in Congress were corporate Democrats. 26 of 30 DSA endorsed candidates won. None of them, not, not to say that they were all Democrats or whatever, but just they ran as independents, whatever, they, that were endorsed by the DSA won. So this just shows that, that America's done with corporate Democrats. And AOC is supposed to be this big for the left. She's full of it, man. And you know who called her out, who caught her on it? Richard Medhurst, who we've had on the show. We'll have him back. Right? Every single House Democrat voted for that bill except Tulsi Gabbard and Rashida Tlaib. Money for regime change, money for oppressing Palestinians, and a one-time $600 check with no health care. Criminals. Literally. AOC, you are a fraud and a liar. So this is what AOC puts up there. This is the bullshit that you have to be aware of. This is why we thought AOC was going to be different. She's not. This is the same kind of crap. Look, she's out there putting this out there. This is the poll she puts. December 17th, a $600 is for a second. Enough? Yes, no, hell no. Right? 62%. Hell no. That's AOC. Oh, she's fighting for us, but she just voted for the bill. And I don't want, and if you don't want your member to vote for a $600 deal, you really need to tell them that. Don't think, oh, I voted for a Dem, we'll be fine. This is her tweet on the 17th. No, if there's an amount that's too little or any other red line you want them to vote no on, then you need to tell them that. Oh, when we tell you to force the vote for Medicare for all, you say, oh, it's performative and there's no step two. This is how much, this is how full of shit she is. This is why she's a fucking flat out liar. Yeah, you fight for us. She's got 10 million Twitter followers, so this is part of the bullshit that gets to be spewed now. AOC, Democratic, New York, yay. Omar, Democrat, Minnesota, yay. It's so obvious how they're liars. Because AOC knows most people aren't going to go check cabinet votes and house votes the way Richard Medhurst does. This is a matter of public record. You can just go check this. Who voted? She did. Omar did. She just knows most people are going to see the tweets and go, yeah, AOC's fighting for us. And then they're going to go back and make a TikTok or whatever the fuck. They're banking on that. They're banking that you're not paying attention. You're smarter than that. That's why you come to this show. That's why you watch Richard Medhurst. By the way, quick plug, if you join rockfin.com slash Graham Elwood and join the premium at $10 a, a, a month, you get all my premium content. You get all of Richard Medher's content because he's on Rockfin as well. You get everybody on Rockfin's platform's premium content. So Tulsi also didn't vote for it. I've been super critical of Tulsi when she backed Joe Biden. Super critical. I'm critical of all these people. We should all be critical of these people. Don't, don't cut them slack. But I want to show you, this is what Tulsi posted. This is on Tulsi Gabbard's Twitter page. 
She posted this. 600 is a slap in the face for every American struggling to pandemic. I voted for this 5,593 page spending bill that gave billions to corporate interest, the military industrial complex and in other countries, leaving crumbs for you who need it, need help most. All right, Tulsi, you're actually doing a thing. I don't know why you would endorse Joe Biden, but you know, what's done is done. I just got back from having voted on the House floor on this massive spending bill. I voted against it, and I wanted to tell you why. First of all, this bill is over 5,500 pages long. We received the text of this bill at approximately 2.30 this afternoon, and we're told we'd have to go and vote on it just a few hours later. There is no way that anybody in Congress had the opportunity or the time to go through and read this bill to know exactly what was in it. I've been here long enough to see how provisions are snuck into these bills in the, literally in the dark of night without any announcement, without telling anyone what is in it and then rushed through in the manner that we have just seen tonight. This is the height of irresponsibility and it is absolutely no way for the people's representatives to be able to represent the interests of the American people. The second thing is the central part of this bill was supposed to be about providing direct COVID relief to the American people who are struggling and who need help the most. This bill dished out hundreds of billions of dollars going towards special interests, going towards the military industrial complex, going towards foreign countries, Meanwhile, saying, here's what's left for you. You get 600 bucks. I'll tell you, in Hawaii, that, in most cases, won't even cover 25% of your rent. It is an insult and a slap in the face to every single American in this country who is struggling because of this, this COVID pandemic, who is concerned about not being able to pay the rent, about eviction, about whether you'll have enough to buy groceries or medicine for yourself or your loved ones. This bill is a representation of the screwed up priorities of Washington. They should be fighting for you and making sure that you, the American people, come first. This bill did not do that. Well, all right, Tulsi, I give you credit for that. Still don't know why you voted for Joe Biden. That was a mistake, but. Omar voted. Tulsi didn't. AOC voted. Tulsi didn't. AOC's pushing bullshit on her Twitter feed, hoping you don't look at this and this. I'd rather vote for something I want and not get it than vote for something I don't want and get it. Eugene Deb said that. Yeah, Tulsi's right. The rents in Hawaii are very expensive, like they are in California. Very expensive. $600 is like 25, maybe 30% of your rent. You're lucky. Congress, though, got better health care, though. You get 600 bucks. You don't get your back rent paid. The government told you you can't work. They shut down the economy, and then they didn't give you money to pay your rent or just pay your landlord so you don't have to pay rent. They just said you can't be evicted, knowing full well that you're stacking up three months, four months, five, six, seven, eight months of not paying rent. Or maybe you've been paying half or whatever. Now what? Now what? Your unemployment ran out, so maybe you got maybe you got good, but now you're falling back back behind again. You worked in the restaurant industry; it opened up, oh, it shut back down again. But Congress got more; they got better health care. We don't get Medicare for all. We do not get Medicare for all. We just approved, and the Democrats in Congress did this: seven hundred forty billion dollar war budget. On top, so we. 
took forever to hammer out this. Who's going to get this $600 check? We wanted 1200. Now it's only 600. <laughs> $1,200 was like a joke back in April or whenever that one came out. And now it's half of that. 52% of small businesses that applied for a small business loan got turned down. But Tom Cruise bought a yacht, by the way. So here's what's going on in America, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. On a Thanksgiving made tougher by keeping many families apart, those who made it here faced a more pressing need. This year, I mean, we've been holiday level busy since March. We've been holiday. That was from Thanksgiving. It's 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 going to be this week is Christmas week. All they've done is kick. They've given you table scraps and the lint out of their pocket and a couple nickels they found under Nancy Pelosi's ice cream fridge, and and maybe another quarter that under one of Mitch McConnell's chins. And they're giving you that. They're giving you that. Oh. The moratorium on evictions just got pushed down a month. Oh, so January 1st, you can't get evicted, but February 1st, yeah. And there's some landlords that are having to evict people. And I'm not, it's some landlords, a, a lot of landlords, you know, aren't bad. There's some that are taking advantage and whatever, but some landlords are just like, I can't have tenants in my building that aren't paying rent because I'm behind on my mortgage, right? So, the big management companies that own properties, sure, they're getting PPP loans and stick, sticking it to people. Of course, they're going to be evil. There's big corporations that took money in the first CARES Act and still laid off corporate people. Like, th th this is unreal. But hey, there's Steve Mnuchin and his wife with wallpaper money. Don't fall for these fake progressives. Richard Metters calls them the boutique left. <laughs> Fucking love Richard Metters. AOC and them, TYT and these other people don't be critical of AOC. She just lied. She just openly lied on her Twitter feed. How is she any different than these fucking soulless maggots? How is she any different? She's worse in some ways because we believed in her. We voted for her. She was going to be our hero. The squad, this is real change. This is real change. And they just go along and vote for it. I said this back in March when Tulsi endorsed Joe Biden and I tore her up and I don't regret it at all. Why are you still in the Democratic Party? Why? I, it, 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 at this point, I, it just, what? why? Why are you still in the Democratic Party? You're in a party that's utterly corrupt. The Republican Party is utterly corrupt. Anyone who's still in these parties, you're 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 at least turning a blind eye to this corruption. All right, folks. AOC's a liar. Got to come here to watch it. I'm the political vigilante. I'm making Gotham great again. Support what we do. I know money's tight. You can't support the show financially. Totally get it. Make sure you hit the like button. That really helps. Make sure you're subscribed. That really helps. Share these videos on your social media. That really, really helps. Watch uh, the ads on YouTube all the way through. When you click skip ad, you don't get paid. You can sign up on Rockfin for free. There's a lot of free content on Rockfin. If you can't afford the premium, it's totally cool. I have a Pandora channel. Listen to my Pandora channel. It's free. Both my comedy albums are on there. It's free comedy. Don't have to worry about it because I know you're going to take that 600 bucks and you're going to be like buying property and a yacht. I mean, 600 bucks. Holy shit. I mean, that's like, I, it's, it's, a, it's like an endless trough of money. <laughs> we'll keep calling it out. AOC is full of shit. AOC is full of shit. We just saw it. Richard Medhurst proved it. <laughs> it's not hard. That's why you watch this show because they're not going to do that. On MSNBC. On MSNBC, they're going to go into, oh, they're going to blame the Republicans and this and that. Meow, 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 meow. It's all, yeah, it's all theater. It's all theater. And then Fox News, they blame the Democrats for everything. It's all theater. Both parties suck. Fox sucks. MSNBC sucks. They're all horrible, awful, soulless, godless, power hungry maggots 
that need to be exterminated like the diseased rats that they are. Thanks for watching the show, everybody. Happy holidays. Shave your knuckles for justice. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please hit the like button, the subscribe button. Go to patreon.com slash Graham Elwood and rockfin.com slash Graham Elwood where you can support the show. Also, I have a Bitcoin wallet, a Bitcoin cash wallet, and an Ethereum wallet in the show notes. We're taking cryptocurrency. I have a Coinbase affiliation link. We're going to be getting on some other exchanges. So that's how you support the show. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. YouTube is unsubscribing us at an alarming rate. I have a PayPal button at GrahamElwood.com. I even have a Venmo at Graham-Elwood. There's a lot of ways to support our show. We are getting crushed by YouTube. They're We've dipped under 73,000 subscribers because of YouTube. Thanks for supporting what we do.